Hey everybody, Jake here, and today I have an unboxing of a super awesome little knife. Um, hopefully, at least, this is, should be a Microtech UTX-70, but let's go ahead and take a look. If you're wondering why I can't get the whole box in frame, that's because I'm using my fancy new camera. Image quality looks really good so far, but there's little tripod legs on each side of this. Because I have a desktop tripod, because I don't know how else to do this, because I'm, I'm bad at it. Um, let me go ahead and start opening this up, and we'll take a look. And if you're curious, I'm using the Boca uh, Focus, the Boca Urban Trapper Petit, this little guy. There we go. Hard to catch in the light. All right, let's go ahead and cut this box open. And let me make sure there's nothing super incriminating in here. I don't believe so. They did kindly throw in a U UPS priority shipping envelope, so I'm super excited for that. And if you're wondering why, that's because I'm selling some stuff at the moment. So that's awesome. And then we have the Microtech box. Really, really excited for this. Maybe sh let me make sure there's nothing else in there. Nope. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this guy up. Really, really hyped for this. Oh my gosh. I got to handle one of these at a, a place called, uh, I believe it's Southern Blades in Columbia, South Carolina, right around there. Um, and I was very, very impressed. So let's go ahead and see. Um, let me show you the box first. That way you can build up hype like I am. So here is some uh, writing about Microtech. They're actually not that far from me. They're in North Carolina somewhere. Um, probably just an hour or two away. And you can see this is the double-edged Microtech UTX-70 with a satin blade. And when you open it, it says caution, sharp edge, inspected by blank. If you ever watch Frankie and Bird's channel, um, Bird likes ripping these boxes. Mine came off perfectly, so just want to toss that out there to him. And it says in black on black, setting the standard for precision cutlery. Let's open it up and see if that is in fact true. So, that's as good as it's going to get. Cool little pamphlet displaying some of their knives. I'm really excited for the Microtech Dirac. If I can find one of those in stock for a reasonable price, I'll probably pick one of those up. And here it is. This is the smallest little knife I own that is practical now. This is the UTX-70 with a double-edged blade. Um... Aluminum handles, which is a little bit eh, but to be honest, these are already expensive enough. I would hate to see how much a Microtech with titanium would cost. Pocket clip is smaller than I thought it would be. I'm actually pretty excited about that. You do have a little box fell. You have a little <laughs> glass breaker, and we can see if we look at the uh, production date here. I can get this camera to focus. May 2019. I need to get a macro lens for this because this kit lens doesn't focus super close. Um, and we have the new actuation button. They recently changed these. They used to be um, a bit less ergonomic. But let's go ahead and fire it and see how it goes. That is really nice. That's super small too. Um, just to give you an idea of scale here. Let me set this way down here so we actually have room. Um, here's the Spyderco Spidey Chef. In case you're wondering how tiny this knife is. And the Spidey Chef is not a big knife. Um, I mean, it's decent size, but it's not huge. Uh, one more comparison. I'll grab the uh, ZT-0450CF here. This is really, really small, man. And um, to compare it to my EDC for today, what I actually carry today, the Boker Urban Trapper Petite. It is smaller than the Urban Trapper Petite. That's insane. I also do believe it is a little bit, yep, it's a little bit thinner. That's impressive. Oh, there's still some oil on the blade. I'm going to have to wipe that off. Um, so you can see here it says UTX-70DE. That stands for double edge. This is um, CTS-204P steel. That's recently what they've been using, which is a carpenter steel. If you're curious, um, they have historically also used LMAX for these, which I would have loved to get a hold of. Or on um, Bowler M390, which is a, becoming a super common steel. 
really good steel, I've heard, but um, CTS-204P seems to be about the same. Uh, a few of the ingredients are a little bit different. You can look up the chemical composition if you're curious, but for the most part, it's kind of like an American-made M390, and it says USA over there. No markings on this side of the blade. Um, I really like this double edge, and they don't seem to do as much with the satin blades. Normally, they really mark these up with a bunch of logos and stuff. Not on this one. It's looking super, super good. And we do have their proprietary hardware on here as well. Um, you can get a tool for that, although you're not supposed to use it to disassemble the knife. You're supposed to use it to tighten the screws. And let's see how the retraction is on this thing. That's not bad. It does take a lot more force to retract it. Um, I've heard of a couple tricks, including turning your thumb sideways. That did help a little bit. But that's that's quick. I like that a lot. That is very, very impressive. Um, I'm currently looking at... I, I've done some leather work, and I'm looking at making a, a small leather sheath for this. I'm curious to see how that's going to work out. I'm um, considering this is a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Um, I really like it, though. If you're curious to see how, how it is in my hand, it's... I can probably get... Um, I can get like a, a a good three finger grip on it. It's it's not huge, but I I tend to like smaller knives for whatever reason. So I'm very very excited to take a look at this long term. Um, if you're curious as to where I got this one, I ordered it from Blade HQ. They do have them in stock. Um, not many other places do. I will say though, um, one thing I noticed yesterday, I was kind of kicking myself over. I'm glad I went with the double edge, but they do have a Spartan blade shape available at PVK Vegas. Um, they're a knife distributor in Las Vegas. You can pick up some of those online as well if you're looking for those. Um, not a ton of the Spartan blades out there as far as I know. It's not a super common blade shape that they do. So uh, pick that up if you're interested. If you're looking for this one, again, Blade HQ. These are about uh, 222 before tax, after tax, things like 235 um, Initial impressions, worth it. Um, I will, there will definitely be a long-term review of this guy coming, though. So keep an eye out for that. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Hope you all have a wonderful day. And if you have any questions about this little guy or anything else that I talk about on the channel, just let me know in the comments. Thanks, guys. Bye.